Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Anup Singh. You are watching Aerotech Advanced YouTube channel. So guys, in today's topic, we are going to discuss related to aerospace syllabus for gate examination. So in today's video, we are going to discuss propulsion syllabus. We already discussed there is a six to seven subjects, core subjects we have in uh, aerospace gate examination so in today video we are going to see a detailed structure of propulsion syllabus and also i am going to give some suggestion related to preparation how to prepare the propulsion subject in gate examination so guys let's start this video So guys, in this uh, aerospace propulsion, the syllabus, what I have mentioned here, that in propulsion syllabus, you can find out first uh, the basic, basic of propulsion system and then the second is uh, thermodynamics of aircraft engine, then third one is uh, axial flow compressor, then fourth one is axial flow turbine and then fifth one is centrifugal flow compressor and sixth one is rocket propulsion so guys this six is the main topic core topic in the propulsion syllabus ye bahut hi important hai topic so hum isko detail mein dekhte hain we are going to see in detail so let's see so guys in basic if you see here uh, in basic we need to prepare the thermodynamics basic thermodynamics basics we need to prepare like uh, the fluid properties like pressure temperature viscosity density so in this thermodynamic we need to prepare the fluid properties and the laws of thermodynamics and also prepare uh, some numericals related to laws of thermodynamics like first law of thermodynamics second law third law and boundary layer is uh, very important boundary layer the students are learning in fluid mechanics so this topic is also important one mark is question you can find out easily in uh, gate exam and the special topic you can find out heat transfer and uh, combustion thermochemistry you can skip this topic thermochemistry combustion thermochemistry but heat transfer is uh, important just brush up the basic fundamental of con conduction convection and radiation so that is required for preparation for uh, propulsion syllabus in gate examination so and also do some numerical in heat transfer like simple numerical of uh, conduction simple numerical of uh, radiation and convection simple numerical because one marks otherwise two marks question is going to come but basically you can find out only one marks so this is about the basic in propulsion syllabus let's see for second one that is thermodynamics of uh, aircraft engine so in thermodynamics of aircraft uh, uh, aircraft engine is first is a thrust efficiency and engine performance of jet engine so which jet engine types of jet engine that is turbo jet engine turbo prop engine turbo shaft engine turbo fan engine and ram jet engine and also add pulse jet engine if you add pulse jet engine so added advantages but because i find out one and two question i find out on the previous question, uh, question paper in gate examination some question is asked related to ramjet and pulse jet so don't skip so in that area you need to prepare like thrust equation efficiency formula so what types of efficiency efficiency is like uh, thermal efficiency propulsive efficiency overall efficiency so that types of uh, preparation is required and engine performance 
is required like TS diagram, HS diagram, PV diagram of turbojet engine and uh, the importance of reheat process, recooling process, regeneration process. So that is required, that is thermodynamics of this all the types of jet engines. So that types of preparation is required and basically two marks are two marks question and one marks question is frequently asking in the gate exam. So it is very important topic that is thermodynamics of aircraft engine. And if you see in this case thrust segmentation method but only for turbojet engine and turbofan engine. There is no need to go for turbo shaft engine and uh, turbo prop engine and ramjet engine. Only prepare for this uh, turbojet and turbofan. So thrust segmentation method is very simple method. What you guys are done in third semester otherwise fourth semester in propulsion 1 and propulsion 2. It depend, depends upon the college was the syllabus but uh, basically thrust segmentation method you can find out in propulsion 1 otherwise in propulsion 2. So thrust segmentation is a very simple topic and you can find out three methods also. So that is very simple. So here I am not going to teach you, here I am going to give some overview about the syllabus and after completion of syllabus then I am going to make the videos related to detailed study. So let's see about uh, the next topic. <coughs> the next topic if you see here that is thermodynamics of aircraft engine. So let's see the thermodynamics of aircraft system that uh, the aero thermodynamics of a non-rotating propulsion component. So which one is non-rotating uh, uh, propulsion component that is uh, intake that is also called diffuser combustor combustion chamber and nozzle propelling nozzle. So this are is passive component or you can say non-rotating propulsion component. So guys this is also very important one marks otherwise two marks numerical is always you can find out in the gate exam. So that is very important and uh, this syllabus you can easily find out in aircraft propulsion 2 that is uh, the chapter number 2 and chapter number 5 depends upon the depends upon the university and college was the syllabus but basically I am find out this is a very basic uh, component syllabus component of propulsion 2 is very simple not going to uh, see the depth but the chapter if you see what you guys are learning propulsion 2 you can find out one chapter of intake one chapter of combustion chamber and one chapter of nozzle basically you can focus the theory and numerical also in that area is very very important let's see about the next topic that is axial flow compressor guys axial flow compressor is important in axial flow compressor we know there is a two types of compressor we are using in jet engine that is axial flow compressor and centrifugal flow compressor so in both of the chapter you need to prepare the same topic one don't prepare degree of reaction degree of reaction in case of centrifugal flow compressor understand only you can find out degree of reaction in case of axial flow compressor so in axial flow compressor you can see the basic fundamental of of uh, axial flow compressor related to thermodynamics ts diagram hs diagram means and uh, you can see the derivation of work specific work there and compression process how the compression is achieved through the uh, ex uh, turbo machine and then you can see the performance characteristics of axial flow compressor for single stage and also also you can prepare for multi-stage okay here is mentioned single stage but uh, you, if you do the multi-stage also so that is added advantages and then if you see the efficiency of the compressor one mark question you can easily find out here with respect to otherwise two mark question with respect to degree of reaction otherwise efficiency of the compressor otherwise to find out number of stages that is also askable question in the gate exam but most of you can find out the one mark question is most of in case of axial flow compressor otherwise two marks so this is about the axial flow compressor let's see the remaining topic the remaining topic that is axial flow turbine but first see the centrifugal flow compressor that is same same preparation you can do 
what you guys are doing the axial flow compressor only skip degree of reaction okay skip only degree of reaction because there is no degree of reaction in the centrifugal flow compressor but you can find out slip factor in case of centrifugal flow compressor but you can't find out slip factor in the axial flow compressor so the topic you can see that is uh, related to stage dynamics thermodynamics and the the component the primary component of centrifugal flow compressor that is inducer impeller and diffuser understand so the centrifugal flow compressor is very basic you can find out two marks question numerical question in centrifugal similarly you can find out in axial flow compressor in that case also you can find out two marks question numerical question okay you can find out mostly numerical question in the axial flow compressor so the last topic that is uh, rocket propulsion so guys it is very important in case of rocket because rocket propulsion is very simple very very simple topic in propulsion system aerospace propulsion system so see here the first one is thrust equation and specific impulse if you see my seen my previous video so you can understand about the thrust equation and uh, acceleration how to find out thrust equation and acceleration and specific impulse specific impulse is important to determine how the rocket perform understand so specific impulse is important then vehicle acceleration means rocket acceleration drag gravity loss then multi staging multi staging guys is you can find out frequently asking question in multi staging of rocket that is two mark question so don't skip then classification of chemical rocket and uh, performance of solid and liquid propellant rocket so guys this in this last one you can find out one question one question one mark question only but in rocket propulsion you can find out easily two mark question one otherwise two is depend so this is a syllabus of rocket propulsion and uh, sorry ro propulsion system for aerospace engineering in gate examination and uh, important thing is that there is no any special topic in propulsion Uh, syllabus but you can find out special topics in aircraft structure flight mechanics and also in aerodynamics but there is no any special topics you can see you can download the syllabus and you can find out so guys this is a overview and i am giving the idea where you guys need to focus in which area you need to focus more to get the more marks okay there is no need to read more and more theory guys i seen a lots of strategy there is no need to go everything only main topic you need to target and crack the questions in the gate exam in gate exam if you see the last 10 to uh, 12 years question paper you can find out the topic is targeted each and every subject of aerospace engineering in gate exam so don't go randomly first understand what's the strategy you need to adopt and do the preparation understand so in this video i need to explain what's the strategy so this is the propulsion syllabus what i have discussed in coming of the video i'm going to discuss each and every subject one by one with detail syllabus okay and then after i'm going to prepare for detailed study of each and every topic so guys this is a overview of syllabus and i am going to give some hint about the book don't worry i am going to prepare a separate topic for book so here i am going to give some reference of book like uh, you can prefer the uh, like mattingly jack mattingly elements of gas turbine propulsion book Cohen and Roser that is gas turbine theory book one local author is book is there Il Sahid Ahmed that is the book name is uh, aircraft propulsion and gas turbine engines and also some thermodynamics books you need to prefer like PK Nag author is PK Nag and thermodynamic engineering book is name is uh, thermodynamics of engineering and uh, author name is PK Nag 
so i am giving only the information don't worry i am going to provide the proper name of all the books in this video i am discussing and i am giving some idea about books also so helen peterson book of uh, thermodynamics that is also very good so guys i hope so you guys are understand the syllabus of propulsion system in aerospace engineering for gate examination and always add up the strategy to prepare the syllabus don't go randomly for this video is specially for third year students and fourth year students those are done the aircraft propulsion 1 and aircraft propulsion 2 and you all the candidates i'm conveying the message of all the candidates that prepare first strategy and prepare some target topic there is no need to go blindly to each and everything because there is so many books are available and the topics are very complex so go accordingly so in today video i hope so you guys are understand and uh, thank you so much for watching my video